Hi guys, welcome back to the Craft Scraps channel. Today we are going to do something super, super easy. We are going to do a DIY coffee mug. So all you're going to need is a coffee mug. Um, I got this at the dollar store. So super affordable. It's a huge, I love a big coffee mug. That is for sure. I love a big coffee mug. So they have a great selection at the dollar store. Um, also, you will need some vinyl. So this is just some um, um, Oracle. I cannot see that at all. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you would be able to see it better, but there's a little bit of glare. Anyways, this is 651 Oracle vinyl, so this is permanent. So um, you're going to want some kind of permanent vinyl. It doesn't have to be Oracle. Um, I know Cricut does have a permanent vinyl also. So any kind of permanent vinyl, you want to use a coffee mug and also some transfer tape. I'm going to be using this um, masking transfer tape that Auntie Tay sent me. It's the best transfer tape. It's literally just like a roll. Um, so you don't have to worry about a um, carrier sheet or anything like that. So it's awesome. And that's pretty much it. So let's get started. And actually, there is a special announcement in the video. So if you find it or if you pick up on it, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Okay, let's get into the video. All right, so we are going to be making this coffee cup, and we are going to use this. This is just a scrap of um, gold permanent. So this is 651 permanent vinyl. So this is what you're going to want to use for coffee mugs, um, wine glasses, anything that you want to be permanent, obviously. Um, I usually don't seal my coffee mugs or wine glasses just because... Um, usually they're just for me or they're gifts and if you're using permanent vinyl and you take care of them and you let the vinyl really cure to the um, mug or the glass you should be okay without sealing it so we are just gonna put this on our mat so I'm using my blue mat and you don't need to use this 12 by 24 mat I'm only using it because um, my mats are very dirty right now and um, this one is the one that has the most grip to it right now which is really not a whole lot honestly so I'm just scraping this down onto my mat, making sure that sticks up there. And you can use any color vinyl you want. I'm using this gold just because I like the gold. I think it'll look pretty on here. Um, but you may want to make sure that it's permanent. And um, I know Cricut has a as a permanent um, vinyl. Um, I like Oracle personally, but you can use whatever you want. All right, so once our Cricut light here turns blue, or our power light rather, um, we will change our settings on our machine. And sorry, I don't have a screenshot of this, but basically I'm just going to be using the regular old vinyl setting. Um, that's all you need for this uh, vinyl. So now that our light is flashing here we can load our mat and I have to pull my machine out just because it doesn't have room and so now once this starts flashing we can cut <laughs> All right, 
So now we can unload our mats. Take this off. And so now we are just gonna weed out the stuff that we don't need. And because this um, design is a little small, sometimes my, I feel like my quick machine it just is like too aggressive with it. And so it kind of cuts it a little bit funky, but I think this will be okay. So let's skew this down so you can see. So what I like to do is I like to just try and pull up. So we're gonna be weeding out this negative space that we don't need. So we're just left with the letter. So I just peeled up a corner and now I'm just going to gently remove the excess. See what I mean by gently? What is happening with my G here? My G got all crazy, but, but that is totally fixable. Oh, my G is on my finger. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it there for now. And and so the font that I used for this was Sweet Pea, and I th think this was from um, font bundles, I'm going to guess. Most of my fonts, if they're not in Cricut, are from font bundles. All right, so we have, we got all of our letters out of here, so we can scoot that aside. And the bottom part of the question mark came off, so I'm just going to put that back. All right, put the G where it belongs, not on my nail. And I will say, so a font like this that is very delicate and tiny is not going to likely, um, you know, stand the test of time with a mug like this. Um, you know, if I were, were making this for somebody else or selling it or something, I'd pick a way more like robust font that I knew would last, but, um, this is just for personal use. So I'm okay with it, you know, maybe peeling up at some point. It's not that big of a deal. But again, I'm gonna warn you guys, when you're doing vinyl with mugs or wine glasses, the chunkier the design, the bigger the design, the better it's going to stay um, without, you know, sealing it. If you wanna seal it, by all means, if you know how to do that, go ahead. I have not dabbled with that, so I don't seal my stuff. But, you know, if you just take care of it, you know, no no dishwasher, no microwave, no soaking, just hand wash it gently. All of my all of my um mugs have lasted for the most part. So right now, I'm, what I'm doing, I'm just weeding out the insides of these letters. All right, I think that's all. So now I'm gonna do this part. Again, I'm just gonna pull up a corner and peel away. 
this um, little design here is from Cricut Design Space and how cute is it? These little numbers, oh my god, so perfect. I wasn't even gonna put a date on here and then all of a sudden I found these numbers and I was like, oh, these are perfect. All right, so if you haven't picked up on it yet, I got engaged yesterday and um, after six years of being very patient, or what I like to think is very patient, um, Jill proposed. If you're following me on Instagram, you already know that, but um, I thought it'd be fun to come on here and do a craft also because, I mean, getting engaged any wedding, baby shower, this is the best excuse to craft. So again, so I'm gonna put this on this mug and I'm gonna put it so the writing on the outside. So if I hold it with my left hand, it'll say, does this ring make me look engaged? Which it very much does. He did a great job. I just need to make sure I remember which side I'm putting. So I'm gonna put it on this side. So bring this down a little bit so you can see. All right, and so now this is the easiest part. This is why I love using vinyl. Now all we have to do is just slap this on. So I'm using this um, roll, gigantic roll of transfer tape that um, Auntie Tay sent me. And this is literally the best. It has no carrier sheet, so you don't have to worry about peeling it. It's just this giant roll that you can just grab and go. It's like masking tape, transfer tape basically. And it's just the best, the literally the best stuff that I have used. And I really like Oracle transfer tape, but this stuff is just, it. it the vinyl peels off like butter. You can reuse it. I'll use this piece, you know, a couple times. It's awesome. And you can see, oops, you can see through it still. So it's, it, even though it looks like it's not see-through, it's still just opaque enough. So we're gonna put our transfer tape on here. We're just gonna scrape it down good. And then we're just going to peel off like we normally would. This G is like giving me problems. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna peel this off and we're putting it on this side, right? Cause I'm gonna hold my cup like this. Okay. So we're just going to, let's see, can I bring this down anymore so you can really see? So we are just going to center this as best as we can. I think that's good, so. Uh, I'm gonna move it up a little bit. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna slap this on here. I like to kind of like press the middle down first and then work my way out to try and avoid bubbles or anything like that. I'm just gonna kind of go line by line. All right, <clears throat> so now that we have this on here, I'm just gonna scrape it down real good. Try not to mess up the vinyl underneath. And coffee mugs, wine glasses are the best and easiest gift idea. They are so easy and quick and relatively inexpensive. This cup was a dollar, like I said, and um, the vinyl itself, I don't know, I bought it a while ago, but it's relatively inexpensive also, and um, so I'll link that below too. So now that we have this on here, we're just gonna slowly and carefully peel this 
off. I like to kind of like hold it down and like press and peel. So just in case anything starts to lift. All right. How cute does that look? Oh my God. Seriously, can't believe I'm engaged. It is like the craziest thing. So now when I hold it, you can kind of see. Um, all right. So now I'm going to put just the date. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it on the back. So if for some reason I hold this with my right hand, there's still something on the other side. So again, using the same piece of transfer tape, no need to waste another whole piece. Press it down. Oh. And we're just going to peel. And if anything is stubborn, just kind of like press it down and encourage it a little bit. So now we're going to put this on the opposite side. And I'm just going to put it right there. And again, just pressing. Go back with my scraper. All right. So now I'm just going to pull this away. And how cute does that look on the back? Oh my gosh. So freaking cute. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know if that was cheesy or not, but I thought that would be super cute. So, um, and I just love my new mug. I can't wait to take it to work tomorrow and show it off. And anyway, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at the craft underscore scraps. And I think that's it. So as always, happy crafting.